Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestrian War. I'm your host, Mr. Hellquill Lava, and today, of course, we are led by the Adlev on Wingenberg, but we are doing full speed ahead. Already, our economical reform is showing tangible progress. Griffins flock to the cities in search of better employment. The use of machinery and electronics is becoming widespread, and the nation as a whole is more prosperous and industrial as compared to a decade ago. We must continue to strive to improve our Hellquill. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're going to need a lot more here, too. Mm, supremacy. Uh, that'd be really good to get. What What do we want to do immediately? Because we do need to get ready just to go to war. And we are going to go to war pretty much immediately. Uh, I think I read this one last time, so maybe not. There's also a new invention that's been making the rounds in the world lately. The armor divisions have seen great success elsewhere in the world with new models and stories both about both an armored spearhead and lightning warfare comes in all from, from all directions. We should adopt this. And army motorization. A lot of blueprints here and stuff like that. Uh, Non-core pony power. Oh, we probably really should get the the Ostlejonian because we're about to go take some people take some people out. But modern sport equipment. There's also the issue of small things such as tents, medical supplies, and so forth. Like with the weapons, they do really do belong somewhere else other, without soldiers, such as a supply store. And in any case, you should initiate another reform and revolution to make sure they have something better than worm eating blankets. Also, we have some comms to go through as well. But oh, I'm going to have like 14 planes, which is not god awful. But I have justified on Holy Catherine Council, a bunch of socials here. And also, these guys don't want to take us out, and we are just not ready to take these guys out. We, our industry, our military is just not there to do well. So, we're going to probably expand west of all things first. And, uh, yeah, and have a good old time, hopefully. Now, hopefully, we do have one tank division here. Gada Panzer Company. Um, and these guys are okay. Five medium tanks, four motorized for now with some support equipment. Uh, armor should be decent. I hope we don't get pierced. For the love of God, I hope we don't get pierced. One, two, three, maybe? Um, yeah, send all of them that way and send you there too. Can they pierce the tanks? Hopefully not. Oh, well. What is this? Commander Alfred Aschenkampf. Oh, huh. okay. Well, we'll see. En enemy air superiority reduction. Alright. Oh, wow. That is quite, quite draining of them. Can they actually pierce us? And they can't pierce the Panzers. Which is a very, very good thing, actually. Strikes. Hey, we're about strikes. Please go right ahead. Why do we have strikes? That literally makes no sense to me. Why do we have strikes? Uh, for a nation like us? I, I don't understand why we would have strikes, but oh well, I guess. Ah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Alright, so if that's the case, you guys hold. And if anything, I want you to get out of here. Alright, so get out of here. We will actually probably attack maybe over the river. I want to get out just because of the supply issue. Save the tanks. That's all I care about. Saving those tanks. More army XP? Sure, why not? More organization for infantry? Yes, yes, yes. Attacking over the river is not a good idea, but... You know, you never know. Oh, crap. So, if, we go to, if they want to go to war with us, we'll have to give it some time, and I'll make sure that they do not. Can you actually win here by yourselves, though? Nice. Yeah, we're just kind of deleting them a little bit. It's kind of nice. 57. Oh, they're actually thinking. Huh. Greif Vogel. Alright, this gives them more cast as well. That sucks. I want to do it in a second one, but supplies are just so bad around here. There you go. Well, let's see. Supply base. Do they even have supply base? Ah, Andorstadt. Okay. So that's really what we have to get next. There you go. Go in. Should be able to win Parade it aren't easily. And then it's not connected, which is probably a pretty big mistake. Here we go. Let's Krieg. Support equipment technology. <clears throat> and then retire the antiques. A lot of weapons that we have you have lying around in the towns of our soldiers belong in a museum. It's about time that we modernize the for weapons for better so that they can train with something other than valuable antiques. 
Go in, come on. Destroy them. Come on. Oh my goodness, this is so dumb. That's good. Heroes in production for one of you want to build up, please go ahead. Now heroes will wear, wear helmets. Seriously. Don't let him move. I I really hate the whole supply system. I really do. Right, I'll get out and go up here. Alright. Nice. Still building up them railroads. It's going to take a long time to get there. And just some of that extraction. They should be starving way more than us, though. Kill them off. Good. Go in. Nice. There you go. As they should be dead. More propaganda. Anything else? Yeah, release the purple plague. We will do that eventually, too. Go in. Anything here? No. Can we just do a general attack, maybe? We won't win up there. Nice. Guys, you might want to help out here. Losses, 17,000. That's, that's a bit too many for me, personally. That's a bit crap for us. That our army XP is pretty good. And now with that, we can't do anything. Because they'll just go into the war and call everyone else. And we can't do that. So, unfortunately, I'm going to finish this off screen. And we'll be at war with someone else. But before we do that, um, yeah, we can't have this. A couple comments, such as... <clears throat> in your next Hellcore game, how the Knights coup against Wing Freed work? It loads into focus. is pretty fun. Someone says you should play as a glorious Lord Protector Nexus. He has Hadrish levels of difficult. Oh, God. Someone says, I think the Purple Plague should be used when you attack the River Pony. This gives a massive debuff when the plague kicks after 100 days when you click the decision. Someone says, please use Kamarovo with Prince Yuri as a successor to Uruk II. Someone else says, focus tree change? I don't think you finished the first focus tree. That's very true. I didn't. And I didn't even know we were going to get uh, a new focus tree. And yeah, pretty good. The Os Legion. We'll need every creature for the hair. A re general recently mentioned forming the so-called Us Legion to take in all those that want to serve Hellcore even if they're not citizens. Let's just serve as a fallen legion to bolster our numbers and to conserve our own kin in battle. Fighting in the winter, that's not bad. The Bag of Soldaten. Nice. Infantry does get a little better in the hills, which would be very cool. Um, really, at this point, we're just going to be conquering further east. Ooh, this would be really good to do as well. Motorized and mechanized attack. That's actually really cool. Let's go with armor, army motorization effort. Trucks are truly the thing that will carry us in the future. They can carry goods and soldiers so much further and faster than any carriage would be able to. Stepping up our production of this should be a key ingredient in our modern army. As we're definitely going to wait, because we, we can't compete against these guys. It, it, we don't have the industry. We don't have the manpower. I mean, eventually we might have the manpower. Can we core anything here eventually? I mean, my goal is like to make sure we can, like suppress these guys as much as possible. And, uh, you know, eventually extract a lot of manpower from them once they're fully compliant, but... It might be a long time. Of course, we're still trying to bring new settlers as well. But other than that stuff, let's go with appropriate dissident farms. The filthy ponies continue to squat at our land, hoarding and stealing food for themselves. Many continue to resist their transparent effort to cleanse Hellcoil of the kind, leaving us with no other choice but to forcefully seize their farm holdings. What happens afterward of the destitutes is not our concern. Ooh, yes. Collectivirum. With most of the farmland now owned by the state, it's time to finish the process and eliminate any private ownership of the food production. Once this is complete, peasants will be assigned to strict quotas in terms of grain and metals produced, ensuring our self sufficient methods will continue to prosper. The Soldal Tungsten Mines. An incredible dense and robust metal, tungsten is crucial for the production of machine tools, armored vehicles, and artillery shells. However, it's quite rare and almost always found combined with other metals, which requires more modern processing facilities to extract this precious resource and expand the wing bag, wing and bag coal mines. Coal is the primary resource required for the production of steel, as well as powering up various machines. Existing mines must be expanded as we are close to exceeding the current supply and production. It ensures prosperity for the future and even for all the smog in the air. And everyone, here we are at taking out the Imperial County of Bronze Hill because... We can. Uh, we're doing the Bow Brigaden. 
Health cause infrastructure is, in is insufficient for mass movement of armies. Furthermore, construction tends to be delayed by lack of resources and workers. The state will once have to more to in intervene and form a dedicated group of builders who will ensure everything is done on time and any damage is repaired quickly, solving the oil issue. As modernization occurs at a rapid pace, we find ourselves lacking crucial resources that simply aren't present in the territory we control. While it's possible to import them, the costs are high and damaging our industrial development. We'll sign our scientists to figure out a way to use synthetic, synthetic, create synthetic rubber and oil. So, so far, we are doing a general attack right now, but we should be relatively okay-ish. Ish. New house or designs, keep getting more of that. We are slowly pushing through here, which is okay-ish. Not great. And we did uh, expand our land auction. We are doing the Volksturm, so we get some extra population. So, and non-discriminatory uh, conscription, which doesn't make any sense for us, but whatever. So we actually did, we're able to get over here. That's good. <clears throat> All these losses is kind of stupid, I'll be honest. Yeah, let's stop attacking for now. You guys stop, and you guys stop as well. Supplies are really, really, but really, really bad. So I want to take you guys out. Come back over here for now, because the supplies are just so god awful. You guys gonna hang out. Don't die too much, and. Do that. This makes the game so much slower. And you guys are down here too, so. Um, I'd like to come up here, but supplies, like I said, not very good. But we are building up an intelligence agency, which is pretty decent. We're so close. Just get one more done. There you go. That'll be okay. What is that? Ah, we're building stuff there. Which makes sense. Um, here. Come here. 1v1, you can't win. Or 1v2, I guess, technically. Force it. You have to win there, so you can go here and circle them and kill them off. There you go. Nice. Go in here. That'll be good. Another tank is very good. Supply-wise, there's really nothing much around here. Then again, you guys have what? A little bit of manpower. I'd love to force the attack, but... We'll incur a lot of losses if we do this. Then again, they can't recover any losses that they do take, so let's come over here and grab the logistics. We need logistic companies. That'd be nice. Any damage you do, they cannot repair. Or recover with, so. Um, force the attack. Uh, come on, gutting, I hate that so much. We're doing okay on industry, we just need more divisions. We just literally just hold the front line. Come on, come on, come on. We did get supply point, but we need these roads to be done. Solve the oil issue. Um, oh, that's not bad. Uh, National Eisenbahndienst. <clears throat> with previously underdeveloped areas of Hellcold becoming proper cities in their own right, we find ourselves with a lack of proper infrastructure to connect them. Existing roads are not optimal enough for mass transportation of resources or units, thus we consider it mandatory to build railways to correct this issue. Followed up with... Big Shot Industrial Park. Big Shot is one of the few cities in Hillquilt that have been industrialized before our reforms, and we consider it fitting that the government will invest in the expansion and modernization of its industrial sector. We shall also create new jobs for citizens, ensuring further, further national growth, and the union of industry and military is a natural one, based on the pressing need to supply our armed forces with sufficient material for their needs. This relationship will be bolstered by continued investments from the government in the firearm production sector. <clears throat> Gotta win somewhere here. And cut off, which is good. Yeah, we'll slowly win here. We lose a lot of things, but you know what? With everything that we get from them, killing them off, it'll, be, it'll make up for it, so. Good. Hundefeld. Nice, so, like, example here. Nice. Uh, more population. Super, super important. Can we expand settlers? We're still doing that already, which is nice. War bombs would be nice. Muzzle breaks. Even more soft attack. Bellin. Over there. Losses. Wow, we lost that many guys? Are you... What? No. There's no way in hell we lost that many guys. Absolutely no way. Force the attack. Kill them all off. 
Yeah, that's stupid. Follow Bronze Croys. That should be it. You shouldn't need to take anything more. We lost way too many men in this, in this stupid war. That's stupid. That's incredibly stupid. You all go in and kill them off. Come on. Oh, there's seven... Seven divisions. Are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's quite unfair. Th that many losses? I don't believe that would actually happen. How? How? You know, if, if we're taking this many losses, if we have to defend here, like it should be super easy then. Uh, go right here this is stupid. Especially when they are literally out of manpower. They're completely out of manpower and, they, and they're still holding us out, like holding us off. No. Win or die. That's it. Win or die. That is stupid. I'm just going to give myself territory. Like, that's stupid. I'm not going to tolerate that stuff. But we got to make sure these guys don't go to war with us. And now we probably have to go to war with a strawberry duchy. And it is now time to maybe have a little bit of fun with the strawberry duchy. Oh, probably. But we're doing the Berg Soldaten. To the north and to the east lies hills after hill after hill. If we were to stand any hope of fighting our way through this, we need specialized training courses for all soldiers to make sure they know their way up the hill and downhill. Fighting in the winter. Winners are strong, and if they can, if coming at the wrong time, completely ruin an army's day or month. While Griffin's naturally are somewhat resistant to the cold, fighting for a long time can break down everything. We shall establish training regimens to make sure that our soldiers will be able to fight through the winter and into the summer. Oh. Fighting with Izzy as well. They're not in a faction, though, so... Also, these guys are fighting the Crown of Aquilia. I will probably... Carthini Pact, that's a massive faction. Holy crap. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. But also, they're supremacists as well, so... We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. No guarantees for anything here. Supplies are good right there. We need some more supplies for the center, probably. Uh, it's 1014. Grab some more of that, too. Supplies are doing okay. We just need more units. That's all we need. Just literally, just more units. No, what the heck are you doing? No, stay on the line, you ding-dongs. There you go. Uh, supply base is down here, which means I'm going to send you guys right here ish and go bing bong boom should be kind of nice but we do have some planes and more planes of that there you go we have some actual cast be very nice cool And there you go. Nice. Two more divisions. Go bye-bye. Get on the line. And then we're going to go 3, 2, 1. Vamoose. Should do relatively okay. We should get air superiority, right? At least to a degree. Yeah. Especially on the southern front. Nice. Engineer 2s, which is one of the reasons why we suffered so much up here. Because we didn't put any engineers on our divisions, which was a big mistake by me. So I accept responsibility for that. So, yeah. Back in Southampton. Very nice. Osnabeek. There you go. Good. And those guys are encircled and they'll die. Hill training. Nice. Alright. Army offensive is fine. For now, let's kind of hold off the attacks. Supply-wise, we are not connected to almost anything here, which is a big, big mistake. Um, there you go. And over here, definitely a big mistake as well. Back up and back off. Where are you going? There we go. It's a lot better now over here. Up here, it still kind of sucks. We're working on it. So I'm getting a lot more supplies to flow through here. The center's... Oh, hello! Oh, they're actually attacking us! Wow. Kind of impressed. 
I don't really worry about these guys down here. We should play this Bikalini sometime, too. How about this one? Combined eff arms efforts. <clears throat> we need to have everyone working together. We may not subscribe to the idea of friendship as magic. A camaraderie and cooperation is key in any sort of army. The infantry, artillery, nets must all work in lockstep unless someone exploits the cracks in the paint. Um, the fable new invention, the Panzer. Our people recently acquired a test mod from the Empire through various means. Reverse engineering this will be a great help in building our own models later. Perhaps it will be the envy of the world. Fun, the University of Hellquill. With Hellquill close to becoming fully modernized like the wealthy nations of the West, there is one crucial remaining task to fulfill. To achieve higher education, many citizens migrate westward and do not return. This damages the nation as it needs every bright griffin, and thus the first institute of higher learning shall be opened in Hellquill. But here we're at. We did take them out. It wasn't too bad, especially once uh, the Empire of Aquila was fighting them, so... It really wasn't too bad overall. Um, then quite a few more focuses as well. Let's go and choose that one and talk about it. The Air Force of Hellquill should be our knights in the sky. They'll carry on our old traditions in a new light and become the Luftwaffe. And introduce the Leichtfeld Halbitzer. A number of enterprising engineers, oh, well, crap, have come up with an, an invention, calling it the Light Field Cannon. They hope that it will be put into mass production. Certainly, now it will. The Flat Cannon. Dangers can look both above and below, while the potential for a tunneling machine is so far, far out in the future. We should be wary of any bombing attacks of, from potential enemies. As such, we should invest into new anti-aircraft weaponry so that the skies may forever be clear. The Panzer Abwehr Cannon. Try and attack tanks and panzers with nothing but a rifles of fool's errand. While individual infantry squads have seen success with throwing a grenade down the end pipe of a tank, let's not do it on a wider scale. We need to spur development of specialist weaponry against this new weapon, the Naval Waffe. Lastly, in the reports, there is a proposal for a smoke thrower Naval Waffe. Of course, this was a cover for its real purpose. A new form of artillery that would rely on rockets rather than shells, certainly an idea worth pursuing for the better, and Achtung Panzer. Nothing beats speed, really. Well, maybe speed when it is in a heavily armored tank with a big gun on top. When the rumblings of its engines roar across the battlefield, they will know to flee from it lest they will be destroyed. Import Firecraft. The import of Firecraft from manufacturers in the Empire and elsewhere will help, kick, help us kickstart our Air Force program and provide a backbone for future development. I was not expecting this, but it looks like we're training, and we were getting ready to go to war anyways, but... Alright. We didn't even get any sort of message that they were going to invade us. I don't understand. This makes literally no sense. So let's see what we can do, and if it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well, but we'll do the best we possibly can. Who are we actually fighting here? Grand Principal of Hetzlin, huh? Well, let's see what we can do. Um, the Diamond Dogs finally got their stuff justified, and so they can go to war with us at any time. Which is kind of a concern, I suppose, but, you know, whatever. Oh, I'll get the third one done. So we can't do Maneuver Warfare. Improved Infantry Half-Tracks. Honestly, we'll probably go this way. Advanced Motorization. Ooh, that's a lot of organization. Hmm. Even more armor? Hmm. It's not bad. Because I always usually, I usually go Full Spectrum Operations Doctrine, but let's not go down that way. We'll see what happens. If we can do well, then great. If not, then whatever. Um, they have a lot of manpower, too. We actually have a decent amount right now. Losses. Oh, I can't even see how many losses we've had. What's uh, air like? Actually, we have enough. Oh. We're doing quite a good amount of damage to them. So we can base polymerization. Let's do some of that. Railway guns will be nice. Get some more recon. Of course. Uh, I think the railway guns will be very good, too. Quite a bit of anti-air. Oh, hello. Okay. They don't have that much manpower. You guys are on all adult serve. Well, that's fine with us. And we're trying to get some subs, which would be nice. Still bring in some more settlers. We did already choose to release the people plague, so... Hopefully we do well here. Hmm. Nothing else we can really do about that. We guys stop attacking for now. You guys too. Oh my goodness, you're about against her, what aren't you? Ding dongs. Come out, hold, and retreat. You stupid idiot. There you go. Oh, we also have division anyway. You ding dongs. Give him a second here. Okay, that one done. That's nice. Um, nice. Lufafa for firecraft. Control of skies. Operational integrity. Yeah, I'll probably go with control of skies. 
Because we did all this stuff already. Um, Air Force, we went with Battlefield Support, though, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Mesovic. A developing modern fighter should be a main priority for our Air Force Division. If we're to control the skies, we must do with the best technology available. God, I want to encircle this division there. Kill your air, huh? But we have been running out of things to build up, so. Push them out. Oh, they're fighting these guys too, that's good. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, 19, 20, 10, 15, not bad. Yes, please. Push them out. Good. Oh, that's a supply point. Well, it will be our future supply point. I mean, I'd love to do this. And win. Eh, you know, maybe we can. Nice. There you go. Suicide pills and yum yum yum. But we need to get some of these roads. But we do this. We take the thing. We link up. Right there. Wait, what? Don't leave. You ding-dongs, why'd you leave? What? Absolute morons. Yeah, definitely can't win in the north here. Um, I'd like to see if we do this. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, holy crap. Oh, holy crap. Now they're attacking like crazy. How are they able to win? Holy crap. What the heck is going on? With air superiority, we're losing? How? Counterattack immediately and force it. Force it. Force it. Force it. Force it. Kill them all off. As they're attacking us. How? How are they able to win? What? With air superiority, we're, we're losing. That literally makes no sense. They got a lot of armor, but so do we. Lakers have more than us, but yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, no, these guys are cheating or something. Do we have any, you know, what, these infantry divisions? We don't have a lot of piercing. Gives a lot more piercing this way. Yeah, that's not good. So which one do we need? Improved infantry half tracks. Okay, we can go over that one soon. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo this war probably. This is not very good for us. And honestly, they just surprise attack us. We didn't get a notification that they were going to attack us. Yeah, these guys are cheating. Yeah, I don't know, but what the heck is going on? This makes no sense. Look, the Air Force is more than fine, so... I'm going to do more of this off-screen. Well, this time I was more prepared for the god dang war, and... Well, as you can see... It's not going too bad for us at this point. We lost a lot of soldiers. I've just started remobilizing all adults serve. And yeah, I don't like this. I really don't like this. This nation does not have a lot of manpower at all. What the heck are we doing over here? <clears throat> so, yeah, this was a bunch of crap. And I attacked faster and sooner than we did previously, so... Uh, definitely helped out a lot. But, yeah, no, this is not fun. And again, I mean, doing this on Aestorical is not a good idea, but still. Here are the casualties, by the way. We suffer about a third of a million. They've suffered 1.9 million, so... 1.29 million, I should say. But yeah, that's a bunch of crap. A bunch of crap. So incredibly stupid, this war. And we still don't have air... How? How? Because we don't have any air bases, because they didn't build any air bases here. That's why. It's Tuka. Uh, plans that serve the purpose of directly attacking tar ground targets are key to the war in the sky. The enemy will flee before our very tremendous uh, firepower. Our new Tuka aircraft will serve this, serve this purpose. Import bombers. Importing bombs from all across California will allow us to have a small reserve of aircraft for direct attack missions and also serve as a base for further designs to manufacture. Come on, just win the god dang war. There you go. But yeah, it was easy to capitulate the Grand Principal to Hepsilon, but this was crap, man. This was not fun. This, though... Uh, Skyfall, you can have this. I don't, I don't want all this stuff. Because this is, this is a lot of uh, 
garrisoning. Honestly, you don't even have that much. You know what? Maybe I'll take all that. You look kind of ugly. I kind of want a quill, though. Uh, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, the soldiers' divisions aren't bad. I mean, we do have air superiority almost the entire time, but still, it wasn't enough. Also, these guys are dying pretty badly. And I hope we go to war soon enough. The whole year for this whole plague thing makes sense, I suppose, but... It takes so long. God, God dang, come on. But yeah, I was not expecting that, and there was no warning sign that they would attack us, which I don't like. It makes sense why it would be a surprise attack, but still. As yes, we did lose another division, but whatever. That was a night division, whatever. And now we're running out of manpower because, well, look at all the garrisons that we have up here. Why can't we not core anything else? Actually, oh, that's a percent. That's not bad. Compliance is sixty percent over here, which is pretty nice, actually. Oh, become success of the Griffonian Empire. Huh. Does that give us a new focus tree or no? Make sure to say his hell quill. Okay. Well, look at that. Is that supposed to? I guess it's supposed to happen. All right. Oh, I mean, I I, I kind of figured that would happen, but all right. Well, I guess we know no more manpower issues. Advanced trucks. Well. I don't want to really become the Griffonian Empire. Especially since we are a certain different type of empire. Maybe I shouldn't have done that one, but... We are still who we are. Let me know if that was a good idea or not. I mean, was that a good idea? I think it... We needed the manpower. Like, well, there's nothing we could do. Ooh, Balefire. But there's nothing we could have done without any more manpower, really. And we could always bump us one more level higher, but that's pretty... Getting, going to the extreme, so... I guess I think we are the new one, but still. Um... The Junker. One of the most accomplished aeronautic engineers has been drafting new plans for better models of bombers. <clears throat> for Hellquill. We should embrace these new designs and use them well. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Right, if that's the case, I mean, we can just mobilize way, way, way more. 23, 24 di more divisions. At this point, we might as well. Uh, you guys are okay. We do have some mechanized, which is nice. Where's the mechanized? Magical mechanized? We'll just use normal mechanized. There's even a little more armor. Not by much, but, you know, it'll help. Oh, wait, what? What? Ah. Because we will have to fight the Carthaginian group as well. But how's this looking over here? Holy... Of course you're still not dead. Okay, well, whatever. What are resources like? Use more rubber. Hmm. Help keep down a lot of resistance. We were we were running on manpower earlier, which is really bad. Deploying is gone. That's not good. And more military police, because that's a, we are using that right now. Ah, there we go. Should probably stop training. War Summer Carthinian Pact. They lost a lot of guys. Wow. But the River Coalition's lost a lot of guys, too. So a lot of map, but they are on scraping the barrel, so it's good to know. You just go straight to war them too, or no? Okay, so the purple plague unleashed. <clears throat> the Griffonian Empire is notorious for its rabid hatred of ponies, but most assume they would be content after deporting them from their land. The Hess half truth was quickly proven deeply wrong. Across the riverlands in eastern Griffonia, people ponies were falling ill to the previously extinct disease known as the purple plague. At first, it was believed to be an isolated outbreak, were it not for Hell while recently proclaiming that they had brought doom upon the ponies. This vicious virus spread at an alarming rate, with a staggering death tolls thus far, causing 
caused entirely by Helco infecting healthy ponies and sending them back to their homes. The river ponies have put aside their differences and united as one cast down their vile regime. Unfortunately, even if they are successful, nothing will bring back thousands of points that are already lost. It's our glory. No. Moderate army loyalty. Pay rise. Toadies. I mean, we don't get anything here. Octoling Panzer is nice, but still. Can we extend the front line, please? Okay, I don't know why it took so long for that, but whatever. Um... I don't understand, like, do they not get anything? Oh, there, there it is. Really? Is that it? Minus 5%? That doesn't seem very effective at all. That honestly seems extraordinarily weak. If you want a purple, pl like a plague, that doesn't look like it does do anything for us. 5% is nothing. Pupil population factor, yeah, goes down, but still. That's kind of pathetic. Uh, the Claw... Claw near. Uh, the bomber was created for the sole purpose of destroying enemy infrastructure. It has been in development for a while now, but now we finally have the resources to begin to manufacture these planes and replace them should a failure occur. I'm disappointed in that one. Holy crap. Uh, control of skies. Undeniably, our air velocity should be to control the skies above the battlefield and use it to enforce the war on the war below. Rule over the air world provides us with the tools needed to win all the battles we may encounter. And yeah, we are receiving that half track, but yeah, I'm, I'm. I was told it would be really, really good, but I'm honestly a little disappointed. I'm quite disappointed. I thought it'd be like a massive plague, like half of all the enemies would be dead. We do have air superiority, though. Well, at this point, I wish we could still be called Helco, but we're basically the Griffonian Empire. 63,000, huh? More artillery. Now we can do this, right? Wait, why can't we do this? Improved. Oh, imp improved half entry half, half track. Ah, uh, you know, screw this one then. There you go. Want to get that land auction done? Yeah, this tile is super important to get. This one not so much. Not bad so far. Watertown would be nice. But man, I'm just disappointed. I'm like, this is going to be the, the plague. and But it's not. Yeah, nice, nice. You cut him off. It's really good. Got a Watertown. Clown here. Control the skies, please. Thank you. The Big Shot Airfields. The establishment of modern airfields should be a high priority for Air Force. The necessity of locations to fly our planes out. Uh, of is is uh, ever present in discussing on strategies discussions on strategy to solve this new airship to solve this new airship should be constructed on big shot to serve this need yeah that'd be good we definitely need to update our uh, tank divisions steady acquired blueprints why not get some free naval xp I love it war propaganda is it because war heroes being killed oh we're in offensive war oh whatever a lot of losses for us. Barbrook, Griffin Empire. We've done some pretty good damage though, overall. Go to Dogtown.
Oh, that's a, a Nimbuzi. Do you have to capitulate them all? There we go. I was wondering what was going on there. Obviously, the Carthaginian Empire deserves most of this. We don't, but whatever. Oh, is this... Um, Lake City... River Republic... I'll take Diamond Mountain. They can have this. What? No. Get back over here. Don't cheat us out. There you go. Let you guys deal with this stuff up here. You guys can generally move pretty fast and far. Please four. Getting that stuff done. Getting that stuff done too is good. Control the skies. Big shot airfields. Very nice. The Jaguar. The creation of a fighter plane on a large bomber chassis that can be used for both dogfighting and ground strike missions will be a huge advancement for airports. We can invest in this as much as we can. We should, at least. Yeah, I'm not going to force the attack here. I'm not going to talk about this half-assing of the like, attacks. Well, no wonder we lose these divisions. These, these tanks can't do anything. They suck so badly. Now we're done with that type of division. Go bigger. Um, yeah, go mediums for now. Uh, actually, go motorized artillery and remove one more tank. You still get 27 combo with, but you still get quite a bit more soft attack. That's pathetic. I hate these tank divisions. They're so bad. Leave it to the infantry to have to deal with this crap. I don't understand how we take such high casualties. I really don't. I mean, yeah, sometimes we attack, it's dumb attacks, but still. That's all it took. Yeah, that's why I don't like using tanks. They're just too weak. Tanks suck. Guys, go in. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, this guy. Way too expensive and just die so fast. Not a winning combo to use. Create the false stream again. <clears throat> use of airborne infantry is an extremely effective tactic, especially using Griffin's natural biological advantage. We should create a new airborne program to order harnesses power fully.
We need a massive army. Where are these divisions all coming from? This is, must be their entire, literally their entire army. Not bad. Are we missing anything? So it's maybe tanks? No? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally kill them every single, every single division off. Go in. My god, is this taking forever? Sad and pathetic creatures. Tanks. That's what they are. Plus, air support's looking really good now. we we'll actually go with another one, too. Our trains are fine. Go with that. Go with that. We'll try to use them, but they're going to continue to be garbage. I don't want to use them ever again. And those are upgraded, fully like maxed out tanks. After them, we'll go to here too. Oh my god, stop with these god dang naval invasions! Jesus Christ. Jaguar. Jet <coughs> experiments, excuse me. Experimentation with jet engines has been theorized for a while, but we finally have what we need to put in practice. The Griffin shall forever rule the skies. And the Kriegsmarine. With the recent seizure of coastal territories for Hellquell, we can finally go out establishing a fleet for ourselves to protect our new land from any seaborne invasion. Plans have already been drafted and suitable deck locations or dock locations have been approved. How can we not win here? I mean, look at all that damage we're doing. 28 is not enough. Yeah, that's what I thought. Die. So I just die there. Um, in the meantime, you know what? I'm going to edit these divisions once uh, the war ba that battle's over. So instead, you all are going to come down here and do this as well. At least now we can kind of do something here. Naturally mark stuff. <clears throat> there these guys go too. Guys, just go in. They can pierce us, can't they? No, they can't. We still lose. Like, I don't understand this. How are you this bad? Before we actually let them go into battle, they're all more tanks. I don't want, like... Uh, 40, was it 41, 45 combat width? I don't have those half tracks yet. Oh, 
greater integration, plus that too. I mean, our infantry divisions do have anti-air, so... Why is it so easy now? I mean, the Carthinian Empire will not be easy, don't get me wrong, but still. Now let's make those subs, we'll get some of that done too. Yeah, just become the Griffonian Empire, I guess that's the only trick that you really need to know. Torpedo data? No, well, let's start making one of these, I guess. It's not great, but it'll do. Hail Quill Trade Fleet. With sea access comes more trade flowing in our nation. We must establish a new fleet of merchant convoys in order to pursue these new trade opportunities. Which would be pretty nice. Let's give us uh, some time to actually get where we need to go. And uh, get her done. The Empire, not bad. Alright, oh, there we go. Nice. Alright. A little bit ahead of time, that's fine. Put entry half track now, we can do this too. Advanced motorization. Better recovery and organization. Tanks honestly need more organization and breakthrough. But I don't, I, I don't like these tanks. These tanks suck. You can only probably drop it, that's fine. Wow, they immediately attack us. How strong are these guys? A lot of division. Wow. There's a lot of divisions. There's a lot more divisions than I thought they would have, but whatever. Manpower do they have? A thousand left. Hello. That sucks. Are these guys out? They're almost. What if he just said die? I don't have a lot of planes. Doing relatively okay. Not bad. We're waiting for another tank division, that's all I'm waiting for. Hmm. Sack of Skyfall, nice. As it should fall. Hawkland is. Oh, that's not bad. Doing pretty good damage to them. Krieg's Marines, nice. The Marine Stoss Troop. Marines or naval salt ships will be of great use to our nation when uh, with our new coast. And the amount of rivers in our land, investment in the new marine divisions will hopefully pay large dividends. Oh my god, let's hope so. Look at all them divisions going to die here. Good, as they should. Nice. Do we seriously get in circle? Oh my god, are you effing kidding me? Why is it so easy to take him out now? Why does it take so long to get these tanks out? God, I hate this nation so much.
Oh, we have a navy now? What? Okay then, I guess we have a navy. Didn't realize that. But okay, I'll take it, I guess. Yakistown. And thank you very much. Um, yeah, we, we gotta go here next. Motorized officer, that's pretty good. Trade fleet, not bad. Armor department's pretty good too. Oh, jet experiments, my bad. Um, uh, maybe get some motorized eventually. Yeah, that stuff's all okay. That's been the most disappointing thing so far in this campaign. Let's focus on the north for now, so then we can take out the rest of the group down south of us. Not bad. And get that one too. That'd be nice. It's a little slow going here. Oh, we need more arming speed now too. There you go. And then Maurice Stoss Trooper. Oh, crap. Oh, nice. We should have ships in the water. Go figure. Screening damage. Screening efficiency lost damage. That sucks. All right. Not a lot of supply through here, but it, it'll take a lot of time. But you know, whatever. Throw more here. That'd be nice. Oh, the King Wing body's dead, huh? Sucks to be you. We're still mobilizing. We're still demobilizing. Well. Guy, Rame. 
So there goes that thing. Well, you're gonna be a sea wolf eventually. There you go. Nice. Well, they did do force defense, and they won't. I know. Bye bye already. Nice. Uh, trade escorts. Escorting your trade ships is the main priority of our navy. A new ship shall be designed to fit this purpose. It would be best to start with smaller vessels upon which we can base our future larger blueprints. Um, the cruiser. Cruisers are all around good vessels that will help us enforce our will upon the waves. We should pursue developments in this regard. Not bad. Could use more planes though. Scandinavia. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Spam on rockets, maybe. Our settlers are awesome. Resource-wise, we're doing very well. We're doing trade interdiction, so... Raider convoy? Yes, please. Forging our navy around this interception of enemy supplies and troops may seem like we've given up control of this ocean, but simply to compensate for a lack of naval industry. We'll project power from below the surface. Is that the U-boat? U-boat's not a new innovation in warfare, but or naval warfare, but new developments are making them even more advanced. So we should embrace these new ideas to create a fleet capable of striking our enemies without huge amounts of investment in large battle fleets. Yes, sir. No, oh, Lecture in Order 1, huh? Can I actually go to war with them? Is that a bad idea? I have no idea. <clears throat> Edler, yes. I still love how fast this mod moves. It's still one of the best mods ever made. 4 4. Say that until the day I die. Oh, they levels already well. It's pretty bad. I wonder, should we make an army of just nothing but tanks? That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, more motorizing tanks. I think that's a good goal to get. Yeah, we'll probably try that out. Let's move even faster and stuff like that. The Schlachlief. Battleships are the Titans of the Sea. If we were to ever become a major naval power, we need to construct some of these iron behemoths. Nice. 
Nice. Wow, we've killed off a lot of them already. Alright, I think that's probably going to end us here for this episode, in which the next one, we'll finish off a lot of the things off here and get ready to go to war the Carthinian Empire. Home port. Establishing a new home port for every navy in the coast of territory allows for further repairs and production of naval vessels. With it, industry and employment will simply follow. The Naval Aviation Office. The creation of aircraft for the sole purpose of attacking naval vessels should be a huge help to our navy, taking off the burden of the many direct engagements. The Traeger. While the construction of an aircraft carrier may seem out of proportion for a nation like us, we'll always strive towards greater goals and see what we can achieve and expand shipyards. Expansion of shipyards will be a good way to increase the size and therefore capabilities of our Navy. We can always use more ships after consultation with the available reserve Griffin power, that is. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will have one heck of a war against <coughs> the Carthaginian Empire. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.